is Brent and Central Arkansas. We're going to do another grow, microgreens. We're going to do a comparison. And this time we're going to do four different um, solutions growing the same broccoli microgreens. And we're going to use 50 grams of each one. I'm not going to measure it out this time. I think by now you can trust me, but we're going to put 50 grams in each one of these. Here are the four solutions we're going to use. The first one is a standard master blend mixed to full strength and that equates to 2.5 gallons each of calcium nitrate and master blend per gallon and 1.2 grams of Epsom salt. This is the formula that's used almost everywhere on the internet and the one I've been using for hydroponics forever. Then. Each one of these trays I'm going to spray with a basic antifungal. I'm going to soak the screen to start the germination process on the broccoli on each one of these. Then I'm going to put the 50 grams on here and I'm going to soak it from the top and I will not put any antifungal on it again for the rest of the grub. And part of the reason I'm doing that is one, I'm not sure uh, in some cases, especially the brassicas, if it even needs a daily spray, which we, if you follow the book, it's done until you take the domes off. So it's a daily process. But I'm not sure for some of the solid micros like brassicas that's even necessary. So this is the only time I'm going to spray with the basic antifungal is at the very beginning. Uh, just before I put the seed down and then not again until, well, not again. Well, the seed has been wetted down. Next will be the cover. I'm going to put two pounds of weight in each one instead of uh, four pounds in each one because we're just doing a comparison grow. And we'll see how that goes. I'll bring you back as they grow. Oh, forgot to mention, also going to be, besides the cover and weight, a blackout dome in each one as per the usual. Grow gets a cover, four pounds of weight, and a blackout dome, as usual. And this is what it looks like today. And I'm getting some um, uneven germination, especially in this first one, which is the master blend. Uh, so I did spray it again. I want to make sure it stays wet until it germinates. So I did spray again with the basic antifungal. So hopefully these will start sprouting the remaining ones that haven't germinated yet. So I'm going to take the cover and weights off. I'll keep the dome on. Let them get taller. But we'll take the cover and weights off. Um, despite the patches, I still think it's a productive grow and um, hopefully the patched areas will spring to life and start germinating. So, domes are coming off. I'm gonna put light to them now. Um, all the, the germination has started germinating all the way around and all the low areas, or not low areas, the missing areas like back here. So it wasn't a problem with the seed, it was a problem with what I did. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and take the dome off because of the height of the micros are well above, especially the organic one, well above the tray, which is when I would normally take them off anyway, about this level, one inch to two inches above. The lights are on. If you see them there, those are LED tube replacements for shop lights. I have a video out on that. All you gotta do is search for lighting if you want to see that. And I got four of the tubes. And that's what it looks like. They actually all look pretty similar right now. You can see these two are starting to pull away. The organic ones down there are still doing really good though. Uh, they are filling in the areas that had germination issues so that's end up, uh, going to end up not really being an issue for the overall result. 
All right, everybody, it's harvest day. We're going to take these microgreens. Um, for the book members, I want you to look at these microbes. Here's my hand for reference. This is what you should be getting. If you're not getting this beautiful canopy right here, you might consider upping your game a little bit. Okay? I just want to encourage you because this is just such a wonderful feeling to have this kind of nice growth and uh, beautiful microgreens. Um, this one is um, the Master Brilliant Formula. This is a hybrid of the Master Blend and the Organic. This is an organic that I showed for the book members. Um, it's not quite as good, but I mean, it's not horrible either. And this is the organic from the first time I grew it. And that one's also quite good. It's not as good as these. We're gonna get a weight on it and we're gonna see, but it's definitely better than this right here. So, um, we ha I had a member who suggested adding a, a tad bit of kelp into the grow. Um, Irma, I think, did that. Anyway, if I got the name wrong, I'm sorry. Um, but um, there's, that's a possibility, and I uh, might do that in the near future. We, get, we gotta go out of town for, for a while soon, so I'm gonna pick up, after this grow, I'm gonna pick up microgreen operations um, after we get back from out of town. So, Take a look at these, and we're going to harvest them, get a weight on them. It's pretty evident which ones did the best. we got the flagship, which is the Master Blend. We've got the hybrid, which is between the Master Blend and the Organic. We have the Organic 2 solution, um, which I put at the beginning of the video. And then we have the basic organic, which was the first grow I did organic, or it's the second organic grow, but it's the first clean organic grow. And you can tell that it can't keep up, even it can't keep up with uh, the master blend. Now I let these go pretty much to when I normally let them go. I'll put the number of days here, but usually you can maximize a broccoli grow in about 12 days. and, and um, I'm not sure if we're at 12 days, 11 or 13, but anyway, I'll put it up here. And um, you can see that this one is probably not worth pursuing. This one has some capability and we might need to improve on it a little bit more to get it where we need it for the organic growers. But I'm gonna get a weight on all of these and I'll show you what they are. So I harvested the way I did last time where I grabbed, up, lifted the screen up first away Hold these roots away from the screen and this this mesh tray does grow great guys and the, the guys that are growing uh, in the book in the group uh, it, I did find out these do grow quite well um, and the screen was easy to pull out so um, yeah definitely doable anyway um, yeah you, you know I was just thinking these things when you're when you're in the train you see that nice canopy and all you're thinking um, that's not very much microgreens until you begin to harvest them. That is a lot of microgreens. That is a lot of microgreens right there. And um, when you harvest, and those of you who have harvested already, you know what I'm talking about. So um, this is the waste. When I did it with a grab, uh, chunks out and cut the roots off the bottom like I showed you in that other video for the organic nutrient. And it's a whole lot less waste. And you can see all the seeds there too. Um, I wanted to show you the screen. Like always, I never get any mold. Um, hardly ever. And um, I'm, I'm super thankful for that. Let me see if I can pull it up here. Because when you look through it this way, you're like, ah, those little spots there, that's mold. No, it's not. It's roots. So let me show you. I'll zoom in close for those who are concerned about growing this dense and mold and it's, I get questions you know I do these videos all the time but I get questions that I've answered many many times in other videos so sometimes it pays just to reshoot the same stuff so as those of you who have seen this before me showing that there's no fungus the microgreens are absolutely pristine 
Um, I apologize for having to show you again, but this is for the new folks. These are absolutely pristine. Perfect. 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 I cannot say that enough. And I hardly ever, ever, ever have any mold issues. Sincerely. Um, so anyway, let's get a, this is the master blend. And let's get a weight on this and that will be the flagship to compare the others against. All right, we need to pan around the room so you just get an idea. I've showed you these before. The one that's missing is the first one, the master blend one. We're going back around here. You can see what I just showed you, the part that uh, the leftovers, the roots, if you will, and the small bit of stems. Here's some that was just kind of hanging around on the table. By the way, the table's a mess. <laughs> Here's some that's left in the container that I used to put the microgreens in. And here's the microgreens in a Walmart bag. So, okay, let's go over to my little scale here. Sorry, the air conditioner might be too loud. There. Okay, turn this on. And we're going to weigh these here right now. Ah. Okay. It's locked, so I can handle it now. Let's see the units. It's 0.725 kilograms. That's one point, basically 1.6 pounds. Whatever gin is, 25.4 ounces. That's pretty good. Um, these weren't done to maximum grow levels, and for those in the book, you know how to do that because you got the book. But anyway, um, we could push that 1.6 pounds easily over two, um, and that's not that bad. But anyway, that's what we got for the Master Blend Grow. It is 25.4 ounces. All right, we got the hybrid from there. It sits here, and this is what it looks like. And I'll get the harvest, and we'll weigh that one. All right, we're going to pan around. Those are the two left, organics. This is the waste from that. A little bit of extra here that I didn't want to without collect and put into here to go to the worms. This is what they look like, and I'm going to tell you the first thing I noticed when I harvest this hybrid was that the stems it felt sturdier, stronger, microgreen. So I'm going to take this grow after I weigh it, and I'm going to compare it. Can you even, I think I can even see a difference just looking at these compared to these, but I'll, I'll do a little close up. But this is the first one, the master blend. This is the second, the hybrid. Let's get a weight on the hybrid and then we'll look at them together. I thought the master blend was actually a little better looking than this one, but now that they're in the bag side by side, this one looks a little better than that one. And I know it's, it's only been a few minutes since I harvested this one, so I know it's not because of dehydration or wilting or whatever. Anyway, let's get a weight on this one. This is the hybrid. Okay. 25.1. I I can't remember what the other one was. I think the master blend, the other one was a little bit higher. See what it comes up in others. 1.57. Yeah, I think the other one was 1.59, wasn't it? Pounds. Well, I still don't know what gin is. So anyway, this one is 25.1 ounces. All right. When we're testing and trialing, these types of things are important to people like me. So if you're just watching the video, this might be really boring for you if you're not into microgreens and trying to get as most of them as you can for sale or personal use or whatever. But anyway, this one is the hybrid and this one is the master blend only. And I don't see much difference, but if you look closely, let me put them right next to each other. It seems to me that the stems are a little thicker on this one than this one. Why don't you guys tell me what you see in the video? 
Let me do a texture, a feel. Uh, I can't quite feel it so much now. But boy, when I first started harvesting, I could definitely feel it. Let me spread them out a little bit, see if you can see any differences. Alright, we're going to move on to the next one. And this is the last one, organic. And we'll come back around here. We'll call this one, I think we called this one organic too. And um, if you just look at it by itself, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Even you need to get up close. Uh, but this is not going to be anywhere near the others, I can tell you that. So, let's get to harvesting. I've got the harvesting container here. i got an empty one to put the old stuff in. And I've got the hybrid and the master blend sitting here. I'll start here and pan around so you can see progress as I go referring back uh, for comparisons. This is the leftover. Isn't much. Uh, and then there's a little bit here. I didn't show this last time, but I'll show it this time. The screen compared to outside um, light from outside this grow room. And I'm going down slowly enough so you can see there's nothing there. It's the same in every grow. Um, so um, this is the take and I'll put it in a uh, bag from one of the major grocery stores that I'm not going to say. And we'll get a weight on it. Alright, here they are in the bag. Previous two. Let's turn them over to the scale. Feels lighter. Turn the scale on. Oh, that one broke out of the side, but still should work with one. Okay, 18.8 ounces. I know that's less than the other ones. I can't remember. I think it was 25 point something ounces, wasn't it? 25.1, 25.4 maybe. Uh, that is 1.18 pounds. We still broke a pound with that. That's good though. That is good. We broke a pound. Um, I don't know how many days are in there, but that's good. So, on to the next one. The last one. This is the organic blend. This is the one I did the last clean organic grow with. And um, they look better than the last one I just harvested. Um, but, honestly, I'm not sure if they're like a little lighter green color. I'll let you tell me if you think so. Um, I still don't think... Okay, the battery died, and I didn't see a blinking indicator. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and harvest this. I don't think this one was as good as the first two, the Master Blend and the Hybrid, but, um, and it, but it's certainly better than the just the last one we did. So let me harvest these, we'll get a weight on it, and then we'll do an overall comparison. And there's the final one, I'm going to bag it up, and we'll get a weight on it. I'm going to show you here this one. Also, and you can see here after we got the micros out, it's pretty dry. There it is. Let's take it over and get a weight on it. Before this other battery I had to use, which was already a low battery, runs out. Okay. Put it on. Come on. Come on around. 1.41 pounds locked. 22.5 ounces. That is pretty darn close to the master one. It's like two and a half ounces difference. It's quite a bit more than organic uh, two. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty good. Let's do an overall comparison and um, wrap this video up.